For this video, I want you to sit down, grab some popcorn, because I'm about to probably blow your mind. Or at least I'm going to try to do that. Because a lot of people right now berries, and I'm so sick and tired of seeing people saying that we're going to correct and that you know the stock market is over, Bitcoin is over, the Fed is going to destroy the stock market. I will tell you guys what I think is about to happen here in the coming few months moving forward. And there's a target here that I drew on the stock market because you know, if I go here to the stock market, what we can see is a big correction to the downside. Yeah, basically if I kind of zoom out ever since the start of this year, we've seen a perfect one-to-one -one correlation with Bitcoin and the stock market. And so what the stock market is going to do is going to give us a very big insight on what is happening and before we're going to talk about my short-term predictions on bitcoin i first want to talk about what the stock market is doing and then you will also understand why i'm bullish on stocks and then of course bitcoin as well because those are correlated now if i zoom out here you know you can see stock market had this beautiful rally to the upside and so far we've come down a little bit now we have to question ourselves why did this rally to the upside happen well if i take out the fat balance sheet so this is you know whenever the government is starting to print money you know, it goes on the Fed balance sheet and then on the Fed balance sheet, what the Fed can do is they can basically buy securities, stocks, bonds, whatever. They can start buying it with cash that they just printed out of thin air. And what you can see is a very beautiful one-to-one -one correlation. So this is the Fed balance sheet. So here you can see what we had this year. The March crash, we got COVID, the Fed came in, massive stimulus, instantly saw a V-shaped recovery. And after that, we saw a very slow trend here to the upside, pretty much one-to-one -one correlated with the Fed balance sheet. Now what happened here at the beginning of the year is that we go high inflation, of course, this is what I've been predicting, you know, ever since the March crash, we're going to see huge, huge inflation because of the money printing. But the Fed basically came in and they said, we're going to stop increasing the balance sheet. We're going to actually start decreasing the balance sheet and we're going to increase interest rates. And through that, we want to take liquidity out of the financial system and then we should see inflation topping out. Now, regardless of what you think about that, it's probably going to happen. They're going to try to lower the balance sheet, increase interest rates, and that way they want to try to lower inflation. Now you have to understand they tried to do this in 2017, it failed, and you know what happened is it failed and they just continued quantitative easing. And now we have more debts that we had back in 2017, so I doubt that they're going to go very aggressive. Now what you can see is that we probably overreacted too much. And what I mean by that is that you know, a lot of people got berries. They thought that the stock market boom is over, so they started selling. And that's why we saw this huge correction to the downside. Let me actually kind of zoom in here. We are very, very oversold compared to the Fed balance sheet. The Fed balance sheet is still here trading around 5,000 basis points. And, you know, we're all the way down here around 4,000 basis points. A lot of people right now berries thinking it's over, you know, that the stock market is going to do something like this. But I don't think that's true. I think that the stock market is actually going to bounce here set a double bottom and go back above this previous high. That means we would go back to the Fed balance sheet level. Let me actually remove here the Fed balance sheet. And once that happens, other people will probably get bullish. They will say like, you know, stocks are an inflation hedge, cash is still trash. People would create all sorts of weird theories, you know, why the market moved up. But the big reason is just very simply, there's still too much liquidity right now in the system. And if we are going to see a very value of the stock market, we have to overlay it with the Fed balance sheet. And that is telling me that right now we are oversold, quite a bit oversold. Once the Fed is going to increase interest rates, it's not just going to be, you know, an instant kind of reaction on the economy. It's going to take some time for that to kind of settle in. So what I think is going to happen here is that the Fed is going to increase interest rates, but it's not really going to do much. I think we're going to go up here. There's still too much liquidity in the system. And then we go back here to fair value, which is around 5,000 basis points. A lot of people will get bullish. I think we're probably going to go sideways. And then the Fed is going to become even more aggressive. You know, maybe the 2% the increase in interest rates didn't really work. So we have to go more aggressive. We have to raise it to 4 or 5%. Once that happens, and they also reduce the balance sheet, I think that's when you will see the real crash happening. And then once we come back down here, that's when the real panic happens. And then the Fed would have probably become too aggressive because what they see is that they see a stock market that bounces. They see that inflation doesn't probably top out yet. So the Fed is going to become very, very aggressive, but then they become too aggressive. And then I think that's when the real crash happens. I think, you know, right now a lot of people are super bearish on the price, but I think we're going to bounce here. We should be able to move here back here further to the upside. 
but once we get to that level i think that's when the fed is going to become really aggressive and then they're going to overdo their monetary policy and that's when we see that big crash playing out and then you will probably see something very similar to the march crash big pull back here to the downside and then the fed is going to come back and print the market here and then print the market here back up this is the reason i'm as well bullish here on bitcoin i think that we're maybe gonna go lower here i was expecting this to be the bottom but stock market is going lower so yeah we may go a little bit lower here as well i think what's going to happen is once the stock market reverses bitcoin will get a reversal here back to the upside and then you know a lot of people get bullish new alt season people start buying nfts and bullshit and that's when you see the real correction happening you know something like this may be happening to bitcoin and the stock market as well and then you know once everything crashes the fed is going to start buying everything back up and then you go back up again and this chart pattern this 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 looks very similar to the march crash that we saw here over over here as well so yeah you go back up here you get the bad news you get the start of the crash and then the fed start buying it up again v-shape back to the upside and a new bull run for stock markets and bitcoin and all that kind of stuff once people are scared that's not when you see the real correction playing out the real correction have starts actually happening when people are hyper bullish on the price and that's why i think that we are right now oversold compared to the balance sheet go back up to balance sheet levels and then the fed is going to become very aggressive over the monetary policy and that's when you see the correction to the downside really playing out so for me this is a buy the dip moment but please of course do your own research i'm not a financial advisor now this was the end of the video i'm bullish i'm bullish maybe you're as well but we could go a little bit lower here but overall i think that compared to the balance sheet we are right now oversold so i sh you know we should see a move here back to the upside now make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you guys in my next video Bye-bye.